Hi everyone, this is Ramakrishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss episode 2019 linear algebra question number 11 from paper 2. And the question is let capital V be the vector space of all functions from R into R over the field R, means real numbers, under usual operations. Then, which of the following is a subspace of V? Okay. Now, four options are option number one. Set of all f belongs to v such that f of x square is equal to f of x whole square for all x belongs to capital R. Option number 2. Set of all f belongs to v such that f of 0 is equal to f of 1. Option number 3. Set of all f belongs to v such that f of 3 is equal to 1 plus f of minus 5. And option number 4. Set of all f belongs to v such that f of 5 is equal to 5. So we have to choose one correct option from these 4. And here the question is about to find which of the following is a subspace of a vector space capital V. For that we have a standard theorem. This is necessary in sufficient condition for a vector subspace of V. Okay, let us recall the theorem. So here the theorem. Let capital V of F be a vector space. A non-empty set W is contained in V. The necessary and sufficient condition for W to be a subspace of V is a alpha plus b beta belongs to w for all a comma b belongs to f and alpha comma beta belongs to w so here capital v of f is a vector space over the field capital f and w is a non-empty subset of v then the necessary and sufficient condition for this w to be a vector subspace of v is a alpha plus b beta belongs to w and that is true for all a comma b belongs to capital F means scalars are belonging to given field capital F and the vectors alpha comma beta belongs to W. So we will use uh, this theorem. So we will check the option wise. So for option number one, let W1 be the given set that is set of all f belongs to V such that f of x square is equal to f of x whole square for all x belongs to R. So first we have to verify that whether this is uh, a subspace or not. So for that, uh, take uh, two elements in W1, that is two vectors in W1, say f comma g belongs to W1, then f of x square is equal to f of x whole square by the definition of this given set W1, f belongs to W1 so that f of x square is equal to f of x whole square and similarly g belongs to W1 implies g of x square is equal to g of x whole square for all x belongs to R. Now. For W to be a subspace of V, we have to verify that A alpha plus B beta belongs to W. So for that, uh, consider A F plus B G of X square. In place of alpha and beta, we have uh, F comma G. So consider A F plus B G of X square. And by using property of X square plus B into G of X square for all, a comma b belongs to r so this can be written as f of x square means a into f of x whole square plus b into g of x square means g of x whole square because here both f comma g belongs to w1 by using the set notation of w1 we have f of x square is equal to f of x whole square and similarly g of x square is equal to g of x whole square and uh, here clearly this value is not equal to AF plus BG of X whole square. So that means here AF plus BG does not belong to W1. So here the W1 set definition is set of F belongs to V such that F of X square is equal to F of X whole square. But in place of F we have AF plus BG and that value AF plus BG of X square is not equal to AF plus BG of X whole square. So that AF plus BG is does not belonging to W1. Therefore, W1 is not a subspace of V. Therefore, option 1 is wrong. Is it clear? Now, we will check option number 2. Let W2 is equal to set of all F belongs to V such that F of 0 is equal to F of 1. So, clearly 0 vector 0 belongs to W2. So, the W2 is a non-empty subset of given vector space V. Now we have to verify that uh, whether W2 is a subspace of V or not. For that, let two vectors f comma g belongs to W2. By using definition of the set W2, we have f of 0 is equal to f of 1 and similarly g of 0 is equal to g of 1. 
to verify W2 is a subspace of A, it is enough to show that uh, AF plus uh, BG is belonging to W2. For that, consider AF plus BG of 0 and that is equal to A into F of 0 plus B into G of 0. Here A and B are scalars belonging to real field R. And here we have f of 0 is equal to f of 1 and g of 0 is equal to g of 1. So we have a into f of n plus b into g of 1. And this can be written as a f plus b g of 1. Okay. So here we have a f plus b g of 0 is equal to a f plus b g of 1. So it satisfies uh, the property of the set definement w2. That is, set of all f belongs to V such that f of 0 is equal to f of 1. Here in place of f we have a f plus b g because a f plus b g of 0 is equal to a f plus b g of 1. So clearly a f plus b g belonging to the given set w2. Therefore, w2 is a subspace of V. Therefore, option number 2 is correct. Is it clear? So here option number 2 is correct. So we can discard remaining options. So this is the solution of this problem. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please share, subscribe and give your comments on my videos. Thanks for watching.